It's time for local stories from across the East. Local food. Local fashion. Local businesses. This is your home for local. This is the East's Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark. I'll be your tour guide on this adventure across the East. Still at home right now, staying safe. Hope everybody else and their families are all doing well as well. Uh, we have a big show in store for you today. It's Thursday after all, and we always try to get a lot of great local stories in for you. Also, it's June, and that means it's graduation celebration month here on the East Daily Download. And specifically what we mean is we're focusing on stories about graduation and graduates. We're showcasing pictures of high school and college graduates from across Eastern North Carolina that you've sent in. We are also showing fun facts about graduation, inspirational quotes. It's very, very focused on graduation and celebration. Okay, we're going to get to that in a little bit. But before we do that, why don't we check in with Angie Casada, the anchor of the 10 p.m. news on Eastern North Carolina CW, and uh, find out about this week's A Loving Home. Vanessa is just fun and loving. She has a larger than life imagination. Theron Floyd has been working with Vanessa for almost three years. She's all girl, girly girly. Um, anything dealing with princesses, uh, dolls, LOL dolls to be exact, doll houses, um, that's, that's, that's what she loves. We spent the day at Wet n Wild in Greensboro where Vanessa didn't hesitate to jump on the water slides. I did twists and turns. It was fun. So you're brave. Yep. I don't like little kid pools anymore. But I do as long as they have rides and fun stuff. And although I was pretty scared of the slides, Vanessa assured me she'd lend a helping hand. Yeah, I will try to help you out. <laughs> but you will probably be fine on across the water. Because I can't. So he will have to... He's Try to help me. <laughs> He's probably going to have to help me get you out. She just loves to have fun. Um, she enjoys people. She never really makes a stranger anywhere. She meets a stranger anywhere she goes. Um, she loves making friends, and she loves for, for people to be her friend. Yeah. And Vanessa loves pizza. And watermelon is my second. <laughs> and then the fruit punch is my third because yeah, I have to have something to drink with it. Vanessa hopes to take center stage one day as an entertainer. Famous rock star and, and working at the pet shelter to help little pets. And I hope I get to adopt one. With a big heart, Vanessa will need a loving family. An ideal family for Vanessa would be either a two parent or a single mom home, um, a home that is, you know, ready to just jump in there and nurture her creativity um, and just really hone in on that. And um, I would say uh, a family in which there are siblings, but I would say where she's maybe the youngest or the only child. Possibly. And when it comes to family, Vanessa says she will always have their back. That you take care of them, they take care of you. Graduating from home is the reality for the class of 2020. For East Carolina students, all you have to do is sit down, go to ECU's commencement page, find the video, and hit play. Instead of a day-long celebration at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, this year's commencement is a video about 40 minutes long on YouTube. It features speeches from student body president Colin Johnson, deans from each college, and a special choir performance. It also has a guest speaker, educator Dr. Lin Gangong, recognizing how graduates have gotten through this uncertain time. Fear can immobilize us or it can challenge us to be of greater service. I understand this fear, like many of you. We have so many questions right now. Graduates taking part in virtual graduation are asked to post photos of themselves in their caps and gowns to social media, each with the hashtag ECU2020. ECU administrators say they're planning an in-person ceremony for this spring class, hopefully later this year. In Greenville, and congrats grads. I'm Madeline Ashley, nine on your side.
Hey, we're back here on the East Daily Download. Hope your day is off to a great start so far. So we're talking about fun facts, graduation facts, kind of interesting stuff. Um, did you know that on average, there are 2.94 million high school students graduating each year compared to about 1,750,000 college students every year? Interesting. Um, we have a lot more fun facts, interesting facts throughout the course of the week and the month, so stay tuned for that. And inspirational quotes from people that you know who've said really inspiring things to graduating classes. Okay, uh, why don't we jump right back in, get going, have a lot more stories, a lot more ground to cover here on Thursday's edition of the East Daily Download. Let's take a look. Join nine on your side in saluting the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations to our graduating class of 2020. Join nine on your side in saluting the graduating class of 2020 by submitting a photo of the graduate on WNCT.com. From car parades to doing it yourself in your own driveway. Celebrating the class of 2020 has brought out endless creativity in the era of COVID-19. At Deptford High School in Gloucester County, administrators are doing the most to make sure no graduate feels shortchanged. They deserve to hear their name called. They deserve to come up in a cap and gown. After weeks of mulling it over with school administrators, Principal Jeffrey Lebb realized the answer wasn't one large ceremony, but rather a whole bunch of small ones. We're doing two students at a time and they're only allowed to have two guests with them and we're going to do 15 minute ceremonies. You could call it a graduation marathon with 250 graduates on deck. That means 125 mini ceremonies will take place over four and a half days with four happening every hour nonstop. It's obviously not the real thing where the kids all sit together on the field and they throw their caps in the air, which is also it's a great thing. It's not that, but um, I think we all feel it's the best that we can do the plan giving seniors a reason to smile. This is really, really smart. And I feel like the way that they're going about it, the method they're taking makes it more personal. I feel like the school is doing like a very good job being creative. According to administrators at Deptford, the mini graduation marathon is an apparent trend that will take place at a number of schools across the Garden State. Deptford High School being the first to announce such plans. Now, Deptford students will eventually be able to take in the whole graduation experience as a local production company has been hired to capture everything, putting it all together for what will be a live streaming event on June 17th. I'm Andrew Ramos. Fix 11 News.
Hey, we're back here on the East Daily Download. Hope your Thursday is off to a great start and the month of June is off to a great start as well because it's graduation celebration month here on the East Daily Download. And we're really excited about this project of really showcasing and highlighting graduates, um, graduation, stories about it, um, and some of these fun facts like this one. Did you know that 70% of college graduates wish they would have actually spent more time preparing for the real world after getting out of college. I can actually believe that having been a college graduate at one point in time, I'm still trying to prepare for the real world. So anyway, uh, we still have a lot of show to get to today. So why don't we keep moving ahead to our next story? I'll meet you back here in a little bit and we'll wrap things up for the day. Okay, let's take a look. Hi, I'm McKenna Gall. And I'm Kylie Gall. As we are co-many things, we are two of your co-valedictorians for the Northwood High School class of 2020. So I'd like to acknowledge that we've made it. This marks the end of a chapter, but also the beginning of a new one. Dear Tesla STEM class of 2020, our high school journey is nearing an end. Like Jennifer Gale said, some days you will be the light for others, and some days you will need some light from them. Go, go! We are resilient. We were born on the brink of 9-11, a terrorist attack on the country that killed thousands and changed the lives of so many others. And now, our senior year is cut short by a pandemic that has taken the world, holding it hostage. When I was eight, we couldn't leave our house because the Ivory Coast where I lived was in the middle of a civil war. People were dying. I heard gunshots right outside my house. Never did I think I would be living a similar reality. Music has allowed me to distance myself from the stresses of home and school. Our school-wide talent show was for the first time fully student-led and produced. We expected to create lifelong celebration memories. Instead, those memories began to fill with cancellations. We stand amid one of the largest global disruptions in history. How can we not envy what other students had in years prior? The full senior year experience. With all that we have lost, it can be easy to forget all that we have gained. We gained a community of teachers who love us and taught us that our ideas have value. We learned how to be good teammates, students, citizens, and friends. At home, we took care of our family members, learned how to cook, bake, and even figured out how to do things around the house. These are the times where we must remember that these are the exact conditions that a seed must endure before it is able to blossom into a beautiful plant. We are those plants. This year may become an unwelcome reminder of the fragility of guarantees. It has the potential to teach us strength and flexibility for our future endeavors as we seek to accomplish our individual goals and collectively make improvements to society. The class of 2020 is overcoming all these struggles and that shows me that we're ready for whatever comes next. We don't have to look far to see how our class is already succeeding in the real world. Recently, over two dozen teachers and students came together to 3D print over 4,000 masks and face shields. This pandemic has given us a glimpse into the infinite possibilities of change we are destined to make. We have built an endurance that is likely to get us through the rest of our lives. I can only imagine what we'll do when this is over. Congratulations, class of 2020! Class of 2020, Despite the current challenges and obstacles, be prepared for what's coming your way. So many opportunities. This is just the beginning. And remember, as long as there is light, there is hope. We are excited to see how your contributions shape our world. Hi guys, I'm Alexi Kay with the Down East Wood Ducks, the baseball team in Kinston, North Carolina. We don't really have an update for you guys on when baseball will start back. We are really just waiting on MLB to make the decision. But we wanted to let you guys know that you can follow along anything and everything for an update on all Wood Ducks baseball at Go Wood Ducks on our social media. And we wanted to let you guys know 
that we miss you and we cannot wait to get back to playing baseball soon. Go Woodies. Small businesses make up 99% of the U.S. economy. Many are struggling due to COVID-19. That's why seven different local car dealerships have put their competition aside to help their neighbors. It's meant to help them get back on their feet. Swiss Baron Newburn started the Small Business Loan Program. Lynn Harakel works as executive director. So it's going to be a no, it's going to be zero interest loan. The first 12 months is a non-payment period. The second 12 months will be equal payments of the principal until the loan is paid back. Businesses in New Bern's area with revenue up to $2 million can apply, and Swiss Bear isn't doing this alone. All dealerships kind of came together and had the idea to do something for our community. Seven local car dealerships contributed $5,000 each for the program. It's nice to be able to give back to the community. Born and raised in New Bern, Dustin Tyson owns Riverside Automotive Group. Just a small token to help people out. Competition aside, each company jumped at opportunity to give back. They did not hesitate at all. Um, we sat there together and um, make this happen. It's, it's, it's huge. The program hopes to have more donors sign up before the launch. We will be launching, we hope, before the end of May. There's over $100,000 in donations currently. Everyone I spoke with says they hope to contribute again in the future in some way. In Newburn, Madeline Ashley, 9 on your side. Hey everyone, I'm Gal Gadot and I'm so honored to be able to personally congratulate you, the class of 2020, on your graduation. As a child of a teacher and an engineer, I grew up understanding very well the value and the power of education. And now, at this moment in your life, when school is done but your next steps are unclear in this somewhat uncertain world, you might feel powerless at times. So I urge you to think of these words. Trust yourself. Create the kind of self that you will be happy to live with all your life. Make the most of yourself by fanning the tiny inner sparks of possibility into flames of achievement. We're the only uh, all female, female yes, uh, anchor team yeah. in the market. Growing up, I used to watch the news and look for people who looked like me or look for people um, that I admired or people that maybe I aspired to be. Just the fact that we are here, we're doing it, uh, we are, hopefully just showing women and girls that you are represented. I want them to see how normal we are and how genuine we are. Well, we are back here on the East Daily Download talking about graduation throughout the course of the month, getting this much, much anticipated tassel that we all work towards as we graduate. Um, yeah. Okay. So did you know, here's another fun fact for you, that honorary degrees are not real degrees. So in other words, the recipients didn't have to do anything to get the degree. Oftentimes they're bestowed upon somebody who comes and speaks at the university's commencement. 
um, or a graduate from the undergraduate program who is well known and it's kind of a gift, so to speak, honorary degrees. Um, you all have honorary degrees in Eastern North Carolina CW's East Daily Download. Yes, I've given you all honorary doctorates for being uh, fans and viewing the show. Okay, uh, we're going to get out of here. Have a great day. Don't forget to join us tomorrow on the next edition of the East Daily Download, and I'll see you then. Don't forget the tassel. It says watch tomorrow's episode of the East Daily Download. Bye-bye. Tomorrow, when we hit the road for the next edition of the East Daily Download, Nine in Your Sides anchor Shayla will show us what she's working on in Let's Craft. We'll have Kelsey join us for Feel Good Friday, and we'll recognize more local grads with graduation celebrations. And if it's Friday, it means it's time for Live from Whirligig Stage. So join us tomorrow for the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW.